Hello, this is Kyra on Intuition, and I'm here to do a reading for The Collective. It's not going to resonate with everyone, but if it does, take what goes, and please, leave what does not. We have the Ace of Pentacles coming out first. That's really good. Some type of new opportunity, new way to make money, new way to create, new creation. What is this? We have the Two of Swords here, like trying to figure out a way to do this. And then we have the Eight of Cups. Hmm. This looks like someone perhaps not knowing what to do with this opportunity or they were exploring their options and they've decided to walk away from some type of opportunity here. Like somebody wasn't sure and they walked away like that's different from being sure. Like, that's like saying, mm, I don't know. I'm just going to walk away. Like, okay, how can I say this? I don't know why this popped into my mind. If you was to go to a restaurant and they put your food down right in front of you and everything looks fine on the outside and you're just like, Mm, you know, I really don't think it will taste good. So can you take it back? That would be weird, right? Versus tasting it, having the facts, you know, three of sword instead of two. It's that's what's, it's like somebody never gave something a chance. We have the two of pentacles here. Okay. That's a second step here. So when something was presented, somebody said no. Okay. Oh, we got judgment here. Let me get one more here. Like something never got off the ground here. And we have the nine of cups energy. And at the bottom, we have the moon card. Somebody could have been scared to invest in something or to go towards this opportunity they could have just been scared like i feel like there's somebody that's fine because they walked away that's the thing about it like because this person judged you i feel like this put you in a better situation like in order to give some type of opportunity to the right person like i don't know who i'm talking to because everybody has a perspective like depending on what side of this you are on there's somebody giving an opportunity and there's somebody declining but that mistake was good for whoever that's giving the opportunity okay it looks like somebody judged you. Let me get something here. Like it looks like somebody is paying for. <sighs> Let me get something with this Ace of Pentacles here. You got the judgment here. I'm telling you, they judged whatever this was. They judged it. Whatever this, I, I don't know what the hell it was, but they didn't have any facts. They didn't know what they were talking about. They didn't know what they were, they didn't know. 
they had no idea but when you have no idea you have no business judging you have no business like casting a judgment something you don't know nothing about like it looked like it was an opportunity from god like somebody really passed up on something golden three of sword somebody killed it i mean it's coming out here somebody killed it like they killed the opportunity You got the Queen of Pentacles here, an Earth sign here. This Ace of Pentacles can be connected to this Earth sign. Like somebody could have been confused. If you're a feminine, somebody could be, could have been confused about you. You could be a, a, a Earth sign, feminine. Uh, you could be male or female. It don't even matter. But it's like there was something that they did not understand here, and they just like judged it without understanding as if you were not a good option or something like that you got knight of wands here maybe it's like they were questioning motives they were questioning how you move they were questioning like queen of pentacles knight of wands it's very good energy because they have the energy to get shit done. So these are qualities that I'm seeing about somebody like if I had seen some bad cards come out on top of this to a sword, I'd be like, OK, they probably judged it from some actions. But we have identity. We have Queen of Pinnacle, Knight of Wands. Like that's a beautiful energy. That's a very strong energy. A very successful energy. You have the two of sword again. <laughs> you already got the judgment out here twice and the two of sword out here twice. The two of sword is on top of this eight of cups. So they walked away from something not knowing anything for sure. They judge they straight up judge something or somebody. This is this is like they're bad. This is their fault. Like somebody should have known the facts behind something before they judged it or before they walked away or abandoned something. Look at this. Now you got the hangman here. So somebody realizes here. Somebody realizes they made some type of mistake here. It's like they could be at a standstill actually. This could have all been surrounding, like it's, it's based on somebody's fears or somebody's like subconscious or something like that. Like it could probably bother somebody on a deep level. Something bothered somebody. You got temperance energy here. It looks like this would have balanced someone out. Because the two of pentacles is about trying to, they're trying to find balance. They're working towards something. The temperance energy is actually balancing it. Like they're actually doing it. They're actually, this could be somewhat like, <sighs> now I don't see nothing complete here. That's the thing. This two of pentacles is out here, but I don't see no three. Ace of pentacles out here, no three. It's just it didn't get completed, but somebody I think somebody had like they have balancing properties or they have balancing energies or maybe somebody's energy is balanced. Someone could also be a Pisces or a Sagittarius here. We have the nine of pentacles. Damn, it looks like somebody, they worked it out. I guess we don't need a three. We got the nine, which is still a multiple of three, but I'm saying that's a, that's a big energy. That's someone that is successful in their own right. Like somebody worked for the fruits of their labor. They worked. They put in the energy. They put in the time. Something is more than complete. Somebody is enjoying the fruits of their labor. This really could be a Sagittarius here or a fire sign or somebody that's simply on their path. Let me get something with this judgment card. 
we have the four of swords here it almost looks like somebody has made up in their mind something like they made up in their mind something about this opportunity whatever this ace of pentacles is this person has made up in their mind and the judgment has a way of breaking those kind of mental energies where someone is so positive and they're so sure and oh i know the truth and i know this and i know that judgment doesn't sit with the four of swords like that judgment is about to break that whole thing up where somebody they really think they know some well, i don't know what this opportunity is or you may have extended some type of idea or you may have wanted to work with somebody partner with some somebody and they judged you like it's as simple as that and we have the nine of sword i told you the judgment card has a way of breaking that shit all up no more surety no more foundation Like somebody's going to feel the effects. If they're not already feeling it, they're going to feel the effects of judging you. You have the 10 of wands here. Mm. This is a lot to bear. This is going to be a lot to bear here. And it's like, it's right on top of the nine of cups. Like somebody's emotional security like that's a lot of energy on top of the nine of cups here that doesn't seem so happy and now you got the ace of wands so you got the ten of wands and the ace of wands eleven wands maybe eleven is significant here but oh my goodness that's a lot of energy on somebody i don't see how that could be somebody that's happy unless this is somebody that enjoys responsibility or they enjoy the fight or they enjoy having all this uh this is power i mean if this is directed and the only reason i'm saying that is because there's an ace of wands with this like maybe somebody is directing some type of power somebody's could be very powerful here that's the only way because there is no way that somebody could have all of this on their back and still be in the nine of cups so it has to be somebody that knows how to direct that energy it has to be it has to be somebody very hard working somebody that goes over like an overachiever or something like that it's even giving like it's somebody's pleasure to work hard or to to have this responsibility like it's a lot on somebody's shoulders at the bottom you got the queen of wands here this could have been some type of fire sign that they must be scared of something the moon card is, is uncomfortable for everybody okay because it's sometimes it's the soul's secret sometimes it's feelings that have not even emerged feelings you haven't even felt feelings that have not even been introduced to you and it's a fear because you're not familiar anything unfamiliar it seems this person either runs away from it they judge it and it's like that's their fault that's not you know like i don't know i would tell somebody like don't feel like whatever this was that you were offering don't feel like that's nothing just because somebody didn't see the value in it like you need to know that whoever i'm speaking to you need to know that there is value in you and it's going to come out this person may not want it they may not have wanted to work with you but maybe somebody else because it goes to the two of pentacles without them they were confused and judgmental the whole time so i know that this is not a product of them it went from the two of pentacles to the nine and the temperance is here Like somebody is definitely on their path here 
and somebody made a big mistake because they feared something we have destiny like this person was not meant to be there it's a blessing that this person walked away it's a blessing that this person did not take on this opportunity it's a blessing that they unfortunately judged you in something but they're gonna have to face even though that was a blessing for you because you would have been in probably a messed up situation they're still going to have to face judgment for whatever this was. Because destiny is also about the tables turning. It's also about fate, karma. Like what you put in is what you get out. Nine of swords. Yeah, nine of swords here. Again, one down here with the judgment card. Suffering in silence here. Like, this is somebody that really made a bad choice based off of no facts. No facts. They made a permanent choice based, based off no facts. Then you have the world card here. It says universe. So we have destiny, suffering, and silence, and universe. This doesn't sound so good for somebody. Like something could be huge with the universe card. Something could be huge, huge. Like imagine, I don't even know how to say. It. Imagine you always, and I don't even want to say this. You always play these lottery numbers. And then the one time you don't play them, that joint hit. It hit every damn number. Do you know how sad I would be? I would be like, oh my God. <laughs> Why did I not play today? Why did I, and this is what this person is feeling like. This is bigger than they ever thought or what they ever think or whatever the hell. All because of their fears. Their fears controlled them in this situation here. You got light here. You got the sun card here under destiny. Mm. Come on now. This is very, very beautiful. But at the same time, they're seeing the truth here or they're going to see the truth that they really missed out. And it's meant for them to see it. You got love begins here. and it, But you know, it's crazy. It's right under suffering and silence. I told you, it was a blessing that this person denied or they said no or they rejected or they judged. It was a blessing because now you can go towards your real love. It says love begins. You can go towards real connections. Real connections. This person's going to just, they're going to be mad for a long time. They're going to suffer for a long time. It's a suffering in silence. They might not even tell nobody. They might not even express their sadness for missing out on this opportunity. It couldn't even it could have even been like when you start a business, like imagine all the people that thought, you know, the person of Apple was named Steve Jobs. Imagine if, you know, I don't know the people that didn't think it was going to be anything or the people that didn't think Uber was going to be anything or the people that didn't think Amazon was going to be anything or the people that didn't think, you know, y'all know what I'm saying. Like all those people that didn't believe this is their energy. Triumph here. Look at that. Triumph right under the world card. <sighs> Shit. I want to say that somebody was born to succeed and it was somebody's fears. They couldn't, they couldn't see through something. They couldn't see past something. They couldn't <sighs> like, I don't know what the hell they was in. You got the Four of Swords energy here again. We have the Four of Swords on top of the Judgment here. So they're going to have to make peace with this shit. They're going to have to. They're going to have to. You got the Nine of Sword and the Four of Sword out here twice. They're going to have to make peace with this. Matter of fact, what's this at the bottom? It says Choices and Their Consequences. Feast of Plenty. And it's them same to a sword. Oh, y'all can't see it. The same two sword right there. 
same two swords let me get an angel message here like somebody made their choice here and that's that we have manifestation I'm telling you it says raise your vibration like you're going to a whole nother level that is so crazy this person's gonna regret that shit man they're gonna regret this shit so bad but I'm gonna leave this right here if you like the way that I read please like share and subscribe thank you so much for your like shares and subscribes I truly appreciate it because it is how we get the messages out in order to elevate the collective I love you guys and I'll be back with another reading later bye